Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is public transport and local media and before we get into any lessons boys and girls it is very important for us to sanitize Remember, if you don't have sanitizer, that's okay. You can use soap and water. Just make sure that you wash your hands for 30 counts. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about measurement and geometry. For our first exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 22. On page 22, we are going to be putting all the items we can see in order. We are going to be using measurement and the measurement we're going to be using is weight. How much each thing weighs. So we're going to start with A and we should start from the heaviest item to the lightest item. Now, as you can see, A has a baby bottle, a feather, and a car. The boxes below are the ones that we're going to use to put our numbers. Now, number one is going to be the heaviest one. And then the last one will be number three. So which one do you think is the heaviest? From the, the car, the feather, and the baby bottle? Well, if you said that the car is the heaviest, well done. So I'd like you to put a one in that box. And then we can take a look at the baby bottle and the feather. Which one do you think is the next one? I think the next one is the baby bottle. Because when you hold the two together, I'm very sure that the feather is very light. That's where the saying, as light as a feather, comes from. So we're going to put our number two for the baby bottle and number three for our feather. The rest of them you can do by yourselves, but remember, we are going to start from the heaviest to the lightest. When you're done with that, you can take a look at the next exercise, which is on page 23. On page 23, we are going to be using the shapes below to make a picture. Now you're going to be using these 2D shapes to make a picture of anything you like. Now as you can see, we have different sizes of the different 2D shapes. So it is going to be your job to cut the shapes out and when you're done, to paste them with glue in the box so that you can make your own beautiful picture. 
Remember grade twos, a pair of scissors is very, very dangerous. So if you're going to use a pair of scissors, please can you hold it nicely? And when you are done, put it away. It is not a toy. Once you are done cutting out your squares, oh, this one says circle, <laughs> your circle, your squares, your triangles, and your rectangles, you are going to use glue to paste in the box. Make sure that you use enough glue, you can roll it up or down, and when you are done making your beautiful pictures, you can close your glue so that it won't dry out. Now, I have drawn some beautiful pictures with the same 2D shapes. So, let's take a look at the new friends that I have. On the board, I have two new friends. The first one you can see is Bob the Robot. Now, Bob the Robot is made up of all the two, 3D shapes, 2D shapes that we have. I have my circles, and then I have my square for the head. I have my rectangle for the body and my triangles for the smaller parts of Bob. Now Bob is special because Bob is a robot. He likes to eat vegetables. <laughs> and Bob has a sister because I wanted to show you the two different pictures you can make. Bob's sister has circles for eyes she also has a square and a square for her ears, which is different from Bob because he has circles for ears. They have a rectangle body with triangle smaller parts, the limbs. Now you can use this idea to help you make yours or you can do anything else. It is up to you. So Amy and Bob are done and we are going to go outside and play together. We want you to finish both your exercises on page 22 and on page 23. Have fun, be creative and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson and boys and girls, I hope you had so much fun. Remember, if you're not sure or you can't remember what to do, you can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you end up finishing your work by yourself. Now that we are done though, it is time for us to sanitize. So, let us take our sanitizer and rub our hands carefully. Remember, you can always use soap and water to sanitize and keep your hands germ-free. Make, make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I wonder though, I thought I saw him somewhere. My dear friend Sashi should be around. Oh, <laughs> hello Sashi. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus, and Capricorn Foundation.